All right, let's see what we got here. Um, wooden sword for sure with the whetstone. That's a no-brainer. We could also get healing herbs since it's on sale, and we can also get walrus tusk since that's on sale. Um, I wish I really I wish I knew what I was getting next round because getting this broom here could be good. Potentially, potentially could be good. Um, man, I really feel like I should potentially get it. Who knows? Why not? Why not? Let's get it. We haven't used it in a while. Hopefully we can get an early mana orb to go magic staff, because that's the whole reason of me getting that right there, honestly. Um, because that would be great. Going it wow. Three forms of DPS. Very interesting. He's also got the shield on him. Woo! That was a massive crit he did on us at the beginning. Good game though. I'll take that L. Um, let's go with space. A little bit of food for the regeneration. I think that. Uh, would be great Since we already got the broom, I don't need the sword and I'm not gonna use the lump of coal to turn it into a torch although I should Just in case for a, a magic torch We might have missed out there just in case for a magic torch I feel like that's the only reason why I would have done that right there, but then again, I was thinking about the hero sword at the time Which is why I didn't do it um we don't really have a space for it. We could still do it, though. Ah, I don't know. We could go Magic Torch with Magic Staff. That's going to be a pretty interesting combo. Or... Or we just go Magic Staff Crit. Or maybe even the crit with staff um, with uh, Fortuna's Grace. I'm going to try that. Let's go crit with staff Fortuna's Grace. So, yeah, let's let's yeah, let's try that. So we're not going to get the lump of coal. We're going to try to turn this into a hero sword. I think that would probably be the better play. Let's get the wooden buckler because I believe I, I'll be able to use that. Awesome. Um, I'm going to go whetstone here just to turn that into a hero sword ASAP. Let's get space. Um, and then we could just take this situation Actually, we not, might not be able to take this situation. I mean, we still can, but we'll, we'll have to sacrifice a little bit there, which is fine. I'm also going to pick up the uh, Walrus Tusk. It's on sale. Might get another shield. Could be good. Um, going against Sword plus the Broom. He's got a Spike Shield, which is going to hurt us a lot because of Spikes. Um, but we do have that Regeneration, and we do have that Banana for the healing. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Looks like it is. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Boom, nice combinations there. I will take that for sure. Let's put our items back. Let's get the space. Also can get the walrus tusk. We need to find ourselves another, well, a lot of lucky clovers actually. Not even another, um, more like three more. <laughs> Honestly, we could have potentially went with a shovel here. That would have helped us out with our lucky clover situation, but hopefully we can just get lucky and get lucky clovers, you know? You never know, hopefully. Um, going against hammer plus the wooden sword, double whetstone on that hammer and wooden sword with a dagger and spike shields. Probably not going to have enough stamina to use that hammer a lot. So as far as DPS goes, pretty nice in the beginning of the game, but in a late game, not so much. <laughs> I don't know why I said that in a high pitch voice. <laughs> Let's get that. We can also rock the shield here, turn that into a spike shield, and we can get the second lucky clover, which is beautiful. Let's reserve the uh, stamina sack just because space, closest thing of space that we got. Might as well. Um, going against just a shovel. Interesting. With a little bit of critical. Double, triple banana. Triple banana. This is 26% chance to crit. Not the, you know, better than us. But he's only got one form of DPS, so he should be able to kill this guy. Um, usually when people only have one form of DPS, you pretty much would kill them. Unless they are Reaper. Because they also have poison, which technically counts as a second form of damage. So... Yeah, but when you're going against a uh, ranger and they only got one form of DPS, that's pretty much a W most of the time. Most of the most of the time. Um, don't want anything here. Let's roll. Getting a whetstone on sale. I love my sales, man. I love my whetstones on sale. Um, I don't think I should do it, though. So I need to start getting some good items here. Roll. Okay, okay. There goes the bow and arrow. Beautiful. And we got our second Lord Lucky Clover, so we can turn that into a Fortuna's Grace. And then we also got Gooby here, which is good. We can go ahead and turn that into a hero or into a um, 
a gooby with a hero sword in the middle of it forgot the name but we can turn it into one of those which is great ripshaw blade is going to destroy our spike so that is out of the question we're probably going to lose this here as soon as i talked badly about a ranger rocking one form of dps we lose to a ranger rocking one form of dps <laughs> that is ironic good game though i deserve that l good game let's buy you let's buy you this is also probably going to be a sacrificial round just because we're going to need the space in order to combine our items here we can still try to win i guess but i doubt that is going to actually happen um but it's worth a shot nevertheless so we'll just rock that and let's see how we do versus a hammer build more than likely we're gonna lose because that is a lot of jewels and that is three daggers and a hammer so yeah we definitely definitely lose this one more than likely i'll take this l though oh unless oh okay okay i saw that bit critical i was about to say that bit critical could have been nasty so boom let's get the piercing arrow here um let's get space i'm also going to get the hat it's on sale might as well okay another lucky clover which is good and we also got an acorn collar which is nice let's reserve that and let's see if we can set this build up properly so this guy i want at the top kind of ish for now um we could put you here so we can rock the broom right there hopefully we can get ourselves a mana orb pretty damn soon because we need that and probably some blueberries for that mana generation or maybe double mana orb double mana orb does sound good sounds pretty damn good um let's just rock that i believe boom and boom this can go here uh that goes there that goes there this goes in the middle of the two and for that other activation we could just rock the banana um and then honestly we could put that there like so this could be our second form of activation we don't really have enough slots for the other spike shield unfortunately which kind of well yeah we don't yeah okay that's fine though because we got a banana so that's still pretty good um that could go there and then we could just put clover uh regeneration there not too bad i believe i'll rock this we'll see how this goes shouldn't be too shitty to be honest going against a um hungry blade with the thorns with a little bit of critical as well I believe we should more than likely beat this guy, honestly. Just because we got still Goober, we got Fortuna's Grace plus Broom. I feel like our DPS is higher, even though he does have the Vampirism along with the spikes. Um, as far as stamina goes, he's not going to have it as much as we do, considering we do have double bananas. And it's already evident out of spikes. I mean, sorry, out of stamina already. Um, so we should more than likely take this one home. We need to get that ring on that, though. 40% chance of crit, and we got 10 luck. Definitely need that ring. But it's okay. He would have died right there. We had the ring. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He still dies. Right here. Good game. Good game. Got the space, which is good. Acorn collar space. Roll. We need ourselves another bone arrow. Along with another lucky clover. So, I... S oh, we could... We could... We have options here, actually. We could go dark saber. Which is an option. We could sell broom and go dark saber like now since we we have both of the items already right which would be more dps or we turn that into the capital well, we turn the capital resilience into the capital discomfort which would be good regardless not really sure which one i want to do if i'm being honest um i don't know when i'm gonna get a mana orb realistically and the dark saber we're not really increasing the dps because we're not incre uh, we're not inflicting debuffs if we were doing poison then yeah but we're not inflicting debuffs on anyone so we are realistically just be using that mana for that blind which isn't horrible um but i'd rather use this if i'm using poison at the same time which i mean we could rock jewels just to inflict that poison which would help to be honest but we have to get a jewel sack i mean 
mean, why not, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. You never know. It could just be great, right? I don't know. It could just be great. I'm going to do it. Let's put that there so we can rock this with the acorn collar right there for the extra critical. Um, and that'll that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Honestly, let's just sell the garlic. Sell the garlic to get a fanny pack. For the sake of having a fanny pack. Which we could just put the banana on there. Okay. Going against was like uh, Thorn Whip plus the Hungry Blade. He's got uh, Vampire Gloves on both his bananas, making them things fast. He said he wants stamina. He needs the stamina. And he's also got Double Lucky Pig on the Spike Shields for a 50% chance to remove that stamina and preventing that damage. Really interesting. That was a massive critical though. Massive critical. I don't really see any DPS scaling. He doesn't have regeneration. He did get the vampirism from the gloves, but other than that, his DPS really isn't going to be scaling unless you count spikes with the thorn whip. But I mean, the stamina usage is just crazy, and we're just palling down DPS, especially since we got the acorn collar now. We got that 98% chance to crit with our 10 clovers, which is great. So yeah, we take on that DPS, or we could go rip shell blade. I say Ripshaw Blade is probably the better play here, honestly. Um, how much stamina is this? 0.7, so it uses less stamina. I really don't know. This is going to be a lot more gold. That's 19 gold versus 10. Which we could use that 10 or that extra gold to potentially get another Fortuna's Grace or get the Jewel Sack, which can help because this thing carries three jewels on which would be good if we can uh, probably get, um, I don't know, something. But either way, it'll help. It'll help, right? So I say we probably go Ripshaw Blade here, to be honest. Sell the broom. Um, I still want to get this, though, to put that on there for the Cap of Resilience. So I'm going to save that. Unless I can get it now. I could sell... A spike shield for it and just use this banana for, as another form of activation for the still goober i say that's probably the play just to save uh save a round which i think will be good there goes that for the bone arrow which is nice we'll also got that since it's on sale um we can move that down by one just to make it a little bit faster a little bit faster is always a good thing i believe there we go um so yeah that should be good that should be good Going against a Ripshot Blade with a Hungry Blade, that's going to be a lot of stamina uses, but he does have a decent amount of food, and he's got the potions, plus a Shield of Valor, pretty dangerous. A little bit of Flute, Carrot Goobert. As far as DPS goes, I believe we out-DPS him, but he might have us beat survivability, especially with those potions. So hopefully we can get our crits up fast enough and get those potions proccing right about now. Um, looks like our crits are up. Potions all procced, so we should be straight now, potentially. If we can just get some nice criticals in. Nice. I like that. I like that. One more just like that and game's over. One more. Come on, bow and arrow. Let me see it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Good game. Good game. Okay. Combination. Good. By you. By you. By you. Roll three times for a bow and arrow. We got blueberries, which we don't really need that anymore, to be honest, since we're not going to need the mana generation. I'll grab it just because I want to. <laughs> I'll grab it just because I want to. I mean, it could come in handy. I don't know. It could potentially come in handy. So yeah, I'll grab it. And we'll just uh, roll with this next round here. Going against a Ripshaw Blade plus a Cursed Dagger. Interesting to see that on a Reaper build. And a bunch of food and a bunch of healing. Um, this is going to be pretty damn dangerous for us. He definitely, I feel like he outscales us in DPS the longer the battle goes. So hopefully we can just kill him fast enough before the battle goes on for a really long time. Hopefully. If we can get some criticals, hello? Piercing arrow, give me those crits. Come on. Come on, piercing arrow. I need those crits and I needed them like yesterday. What's your crit chance? 66? I don't know if that's going to be enough. Looks like a pretty tight game. Poison hit. Oh, one health. Come on, something hit. Come on, curse dagger. They want you to hit. Um, Ruby Egg. Interesting. 
Ruby egg, interesting. Um, we could go ruby egg here. There's always a good thing, I think. I say we get it. We have one health, so I'm not really stressing it too much. I say we get ruby egg here, and uh, we can honestly just put it right there. Like that. I think that would be great. Um, we can also get the blueberries here. Make that way faster, plus the bananas, which would be good. We can reserve you, roll. Didn't, well, getting a glowing crown isn't horrible. I'd rather have the glowing crown than the spike shield, I think. So I say we sell the spike shield next round for a golden crown. Better activation on the still goober, which is great. Or we could even use that as an activation on the piercing arrow. Uh, but how fast is this? Four to, yeah. 4.55. I say we use it on the piercing arrow. This is an interesting build. Bloodthorn plus the, uh... Magic's horse, pretty nasty DPS, considering he's got the upscaling in DPS because of the blood thorn in general from the regeneration. Um, and then along with the magic torch is also pretty damn nice. The only thing he's got to worry about is that stamina generation, though, which is pretty nasty. But other than that, pretty damn good. But I think we take this home because of that stamina generation that he lacks. For sure. He missed out on three hits there because of the blood thorn, not having enough stamina. Good for us, though. Let's sell you. I don't need you. Um, let's go ahead and buy that glowing crown. And we'll also buy the space. Um, we could just use a... Well... Yeah, I think that's a good play. Do that. And then do that. That way we can still use utilize the banana speed. And then we could just use that for piercing arrow. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, put you there just so I can pitch you somewhere, I guess. And I think that'd be solid. Let's get that for space and we'll start next round. So far, so good. Considering the fact we literally are losing out on one uh, bow and arrow. But other than that, pretty nice so far. Another dude. This is going to be a triple spectra dagger. That is disgusting. With the hammer, double, double stand up potion. We need our DPS to be killing like crazy. Oh my god, that was hella DPS. Jesus, that's, that is... That is a dangerous build. Okay, but we got a little bit lucky here. Because we got Acorn Collar. Um, Ruby Welt popped, which is good. That's going to be another form of DPS. Acorn Collar is going to help us with that crit a lot sooner. We can get this for space. I don't know, man. I feel like I should buy this Topaz and put it on the Fortuna's Grace. That's how I'm feeling right now. I say that's what I do. I say that's what I do. Was it a good choice? I think it was a good choice. I think that was a good choice. Okay. Um, let's rearrange this a little bit here. So I can use double uh, fanny pack on this bow and arrow. Um, we could put you in a bow and arrow. And then for this situation, which might be a little bit not as great now well no 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 it still works yeah that still works pretty fine and then everything else can pretty much just go here which is great boom um and then this guy can just go anywhere honestly that works i think that's good we'll reserve well do we reserve that we don't really need the space right now yeah I, we'll just pass on it i don't really need the space right now anyways okay but we, now we got the Ruby Belt with a little bit of critical. Our DPS should be a lot higher now, which is really, really good. We're going against a Mana Torch. Or, sorry, a Magic Stab with uh, Perfect Amethyst Looks like he's going to turn into an unhealing build of sorts. But I feel like our build is probably just better than his. What's our critical chance right now? 75% chance to crit. And it's just going to gain with more luck. Um, and then we also got Ruby Whelp on the play doing that critical damage as well, which is really good disgusting i will definitely be taking home that w my sir Ooh, we can make it even faster never a bad thing never ever ever a bad thing combine that with the blood amulet as well that could be pretty damn nasty i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take that opportunity we'll definitely take that opportunity um this can just go in there we can we could get another blueberries we could that might help us out with the mana generation needed for the glowing crown, which is always a good thing. So I say we take it and we'll put it here, actually, because that's 20% faster. Combining that with the banana would just be 10% faster. So this is essentially two foods right there. Um, and I say that's straight. I say that is straight. Going against... Oh, 
Interesting. This man magic towards isn't hitting anything. Um, he does have that for the critical though, so there's that. He's got the mana generation, which is really good. I'm not sure if we're gonna beat this guy or not. Cause that scaling from the mana the mana torch is pretty nasty. But then again, we got scaling for our own. Okay, looks like we do take this W. Woo! I will take that. I will take that. Thank you, sir. This music is nice. I like this music. This music's fire. Um, should we buy this? Uh, oh, this music is hitting. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know. If we should buy this. I feel like we should just because of poison builds, which we haven't ran into any poison builds so far, but. It could be worth it, especially putting it on um, Capitus Corn for or even a Glowing Crown. That'll give us eight, though. If we buy this, where can we put it? Oh, this could act as another form of activation, and we could put it right here for all of the weapons. I say that's a play. I say that's a play. I say that's a huge play right there. Um, sell this, we'll get six. We don't really need the regeneration anymore. That'll give us two for the poison. Just in case we go get some poison build. Ah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll put that guy right there. Big old green emerald in the middle. All right. I think that's straight. Oh, right against when we go against a poison build. I like it. As soon as we go against a poison build too. That was a good play. With our 25% chance to resist. Look at all that poison. Resist. He still put 51 poison on us, which is a shit ton of poison. But we did resist a lot of the poison, which is great. Right? Really, really good. <laughs> we would have had a lot more poison on us, uh, on us if it wasn't for that. Um, I mean, we still won. He ended up getting 84 on us, by the way. Disgusting. If that battle would have continued, we would have definitely lost. That is a disgusting amount of poison. I mean, he did have double death cycle. Scythe, sorry. Double death scythe with increase or strong um stronger potions plus the strong demonic flask as well if we would have dropped below that 50 percent life we would have taken like like 40 damage roughly from both of these right and then it's going to activate even more potions like that's pretty damn crazy good game though good game good game um don't need well i'll put you on there just for that 10 percent. then we have what 35 percent chance we can buy you we'll also buy the chip toe pass I'll put that on the uh, Ripshaw Blade. Give me, some, give me some good jewels here. Oh, finally, the game wants to give me another bone arrow. I don't even know if we use it now. We could utilize it, though, still. I mean, there is two rounds left. We do have the two clovers. I say we do it. I say we do it right there. Put both of those guys on. Um, activation is complete. This is what? Every 3.5? We could just use the Glowing Crown since every 2.5. That's probably better. We could put the food here. More mana activations or regeneration or whatever you want to call it. Put that guy there. Um, move that guy right there. Make that a little bit faster, which is always good. Can even do that uh, or even. Well, no, that's got to be like that. Yeah. All right, cool. I think that's great. Um, we could get a blood amulet just because help us out with regeneration. A little bit of life. I like it. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. That's great. All right, this is looking great. We should definitely take this W here. Oh, that's a lot of mana generation, though. And everyone's rocking Spectre Daggers for some damn reason. Everyone and their mothers is just rocking Spectre Daggers. I like it, though. I like it. I think this is like the fifth battle I've gone against with someone rocking Spectre Daggers. What's our mana generation looking like? Four mana right now? That's not too bad, considering the match just started. We'll probably be able to proc that, uh, that crown when, it, when we most need it, honestly. We probably need stamina, though. <laughs> we definitely need stamina. Damn it. Um, We still might be fine, though, considering, as you can see, we still might be fine. Still might be fine. But boom. There we go. Our stamina usage is definitely very high. It is a freaking 1.8. I will continue to rock this, though. Um, What we could potentially do is move this down here. Get a combination for that. Chip Topaz, 
calm no because this is the last round so it doesn't even matter let's remove this actually i'll remove that just to get more um just to get more mana generation i feel that would be good we can use should we use this this isn't gonna proc is it because we're gonna need the mana plus the, the plus the pierce for the proc um i just don't feel like it's gonna proc like ever but I also want the blood amulet for that uh, vampirism. Should I just get it still? Just because? Because you never know, I guess. It might Brock. I mean, we're going to get the clovers. We're going to get the shield. We're going to get the mana generation. So this thing will only be generating pierce. We can even put it uh, here. To make it even faster for generating the pierce. Um, and then we could uh, move these in such a fashion that they get double. I would love to put them inside the bird somehow, but I feel like uh, the weapons being there is probably just better. We could sell the jewel sack though in order to get this. Since it's the last round, we don't really need it anymore. All right, I think that's solid. What are we going to get? Ooh, what is this? What debuffs are you putting on me? for the dark saber to be worth it you don't have mana generation for your uh specter dagger and you don't have mana generation for the blind for the increase in dps so why why i don't understand why he did this but i guess it'll be fine i'll take it um we need stamina though our stamina is lacking there goes huge crits though which is really really good our mana generation is horrid oh my god Unless we procced. No, we didn't proc. What happened to our mana generation? It was like it just wasn't happening for some reason. But here we go. We might actually be able to proc. I mean, if this battle went on longer, I'm pretty sure he's going to die before then. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we might have proc there. The battle went on a little bit longer. We would have gotten seven spikes in the block as well, which would have been uh, really, really good. But good game. I realized why this didn't work. Well, it still worked, but I believe they increased the, uh, the amount of stamina that these guys use. And that's probably why. It didn't work as well. Oh, it still worked. Um, but that's probably why the stamina use just was uh, really, really low. I'm surprised it still works, though, considering. Um, but yeah, pretty damn good game. I'll take that W. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.